Hello, good morning from the Cotswolds. This is so exciting. We are here for a weekend away by we, I mean me and this guy. Hello. Hi, I'm here too. Hello, hello. We are away with two other couples having a little English staycation. <laughs> Don't think he realises we can actually see his nipples. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So we are staying at the most incredible, it's pretty cool. in incredible accommodation aren't we it's, cool, yeah. it's in a converted lock house on a canal and the way that we got here yesterday was by catching a canal boat which was just so cool five minute canal boat five minute canal boat sat on From the, the roof, roof in the sunshine it's like we have got impeccable weather this weekend it feels like the first glimpses of like spring summer so it's bringing lucky. me like so much joy so much joy, so much hope, so much happiness. Like yesterday, Ant and I were saying to each other that we're so grateful that we have all four seasons, aren't we, babe? Mm -hmm. Because I know winter can be a little bit challenging for some people, myself included. I mean, it's not the most enjoyable season for me. But when you get to spring, it just brings you, like, <coughs> elation. It's like spring inside your body. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But yeah, it feels like... I don't know, like I went for a run, was it the day before yesterday? And the sun was out and I could feel it on my skin and the sky was blue and I was just like overwhelmed <laughs> with how much joy I felt. I was like, summer is gonna happen, winter's coming to an end. I like, oh. Hopefully, no COVID restrictions this summer. Yeah, fingers, toes and everything crossed. Just Anyway, so that was a ramble and a tangent, but we're at an amazing, unique homestays property in the Cotswolds for the weekend. I thought I could with take you tub. along. Oh, with a hot tub. And I thought we could take you along with us for the day, show what we get up to. Yeah. It's like a beautiful day, so I think we're going to do like a mega hike, yeah? It's a good idea, otherwise the vlog would be pretty boring otherwise. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't bring them with us. Yeah, You guys be. wait here while we're going you out. You wait here and we'll come back after the hike and we'll check in. We'll let you know what it's like. No, we'll take you with us. But first, I'm going to show you guys around the house a little bit. I think everybody oh, yeah. else is still in bed. So I thought it might be a good chance to show them the property. Yeah, it's 5.15am. No, it's not. <laughs> what is the time? I think it's like 7. 7, okay. Yeah. We've been up for a while. We're not very good at lying in. Are we, babe? Well, you speak for yourself, lady. Excuse me, you got up with me and you could have easily stayed in bed. I can, I can sleep through all those fart smells. Is that the man who made the farts? Oh, that was me, was it? <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. So please excuse the chaos and the mess, but this is our little room. Well, I say little, it's absolutely big and beautiful. And look at these gorgeous beams. So yeah, this is our room. I'm going to show you some neater, tidier and more organised ones. So let's go. Here is the main living space. This decor and interior is just absolutely beautiful. As you can see, the water's just there. The canal is literally just behind us. We've got some kayaks outside that window, so we might go kayaking later, or probably tomorrow, because we've got a big hike to do today. But yeah, look at this. Also, there's a massive hole in the floor, and we think it might be an old well, but we have no idea. Anyway, let's come back through here and check out this insane kitchen. So we have this cozy arger. And then this gorgeous rustic kitchen. I'm loving the exposed bricks. I'm loving the exposed beams. We have another living space over here, actually. So this is like a little mini kitchenette with a full proper coffee machine. Can't wait to have a coffee. And then gorgeous leather armchairs again with the exposed brick, which I'm obsessed with. Oh my goodness, that morning sunlight is insane. So I'm just gonna head outside the house and show you the exterior. Here we go. Oh, it's fresh this morning. So here you go. This is the canal. And this is our home. This is the converted lock house. Absolutely gorgeous. So you access it by either catching a canal boat to this entrance here, or you have to walk up the canal with your luggage and then you go across this little lock bridge here which is so amazing, just really feels like you're escaping the world. So yeah, that is a quick whirlwind tour of the house. I can't really show you the bedrooms because all of us are settled into our rooms, but I can assure you they're absolutely beautiful. And yes, this is a unique homestays property. This is a gifted press stay, so we're not paying to stay in this house, just to give you a full disclaimer. But we were saying last night, like this is probably one of the, if not the most beautiful weekend away destination we've had. 
in terms of the property. It's very nice. It is very unique. It's so, 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 so cool. Yeah. <gasps> so cool. Cannot recommend it enough. And now we're going to wait for everybody else to wake up and then maybe we have the coffee and I'm the coffee now. And then we go for the hike. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Morning. Morning. So we're going to try and get this coffee machine working. And neither of us have ever used this one before, oh, so uh, wish us luck. That's a promising noise. Mm -hmm. So then what? Yeah. Are you going to come out of there, mate? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think it could be, I think it could be. Oh, yeah. Coffee! Yeah! Uh, that was small. That was small. <laughs> okay, again. You know what's actually pretty you good? You know, like a goddess, I look like I've just fallen out of bed. <laughs> I have been up since six. <laughs> <laughs> I've been awake for a while. <laughs> what are they going to copy? It's good. I feel like mine's watered down. Oh. But it's great. <laughs> Welcome to our cafe. <laughs> Welcome! £3.24 note milk latte. <laughs> We've got bread in the toaster. We've got fresh toast, quinoa salad left over from last night, berries, yogurt, avocado, eggs. Goodness, thanks for cooking, Chef Maul. That's all right. A lake. Oh, yeah, it's a lake. Oh, yeah. And we are now officially on our hike. So this is the full crew. There's six of us. There's Tally Jack, Naomi Roo, Ant and I. Little squad. We're here for the weekend. And today we're doing a 20 kilometer hike. It's a big boy. We're not resting around. This is 20K, I think like 650 meters of elevation gain. It's gonna be a long old hike, but it's such a beautiful day. It wants to do a big one today. And everybody was up for it. So we're throwing ourselves into the deep end. It started in a gorgeous village called Morton on Marsh. We had a little coffee. And now we're on the trail and it is just glorious. These guys are having a debate about physics. The physics of terminal velocity, okay. Terminal velocity is equal to the square root of 2mg over rho ACD. So CD, the drag coefficient. CDA. So I got to places, I was like, this is the opening, and he goes, oh no. If you guys don't know the Cotswolds, it's famous for these sand-toned coloured houses. Quite little cottages, very quintessentially British. This is our lunch spot for the day. The Baker's Arms. So let's head in. Hopefully we can sit in the garden in the sunshine. We are officially halfway through the hike. 10k down, 10k to go. The blue skies are still here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's very blustery, but it's actually quite refreshing because we're getting a little bit sweaty going up and down and up and down the rolling Cotswolds hills. We've got a little table here. I'm sorry if the hicks don't disturb these guys and like shove the camera in their face 24 seven. But yeah, we've got a little uh, table. We're gonna order some pub food, pub grub. I've got a big pint of Diet Coke and I'm feeling good. Cheers. Yeah, local no, beer. No, no, it's not, no. It's not local, what is it? It's the Y Valley, no, Y Valley. Um, well, I'm trying it. It's an ale. I'm trying an ale. I thought it was. It looks like a granny bro. A bit of a dagger. Mm, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy. Wowee. Look at this spread. Mmm. <laughs> 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 You enjoying this hike, babe? Yeah. Yeah? Nice, nice long hike. Nice and long. Lots of up and down. Lots of sunshine. Lots of varying landscapes. This is a nice bit here. We're in a really, really nice bit here. This is like proper rolling hills vibes. So beautiful. Getting a little bit sweaty, but I'm kind of grateful that I'm sweating in March. Unexpected sweat. <laughs> Oh, here he comes, Anthony Mall. You all right, babe? Blooming Eckers. <laughs> Look at that view. 
Ah, oh, we have finished our hike, 20 kilometers in the bag. Well, actually, my Apple Watch says that today our total is 27,100 steps and 22.99 kilometers, so 23 kilometers total. 87 flights of stairs climbed. I mean, it's been serious business, <laughs> today's hiking. And it is now 4.30 p.m. The gang have just headed into the co-op to pick up some dinner tonight. I think we're just gonna get something super quick and easy. And then we're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna make some gin and tonics, crack open some beers, get in the hot tub, because with this beautiful blue sky and clear day, we're hopefully gonna have the most beautiful sunset. So we're gonna have some gin and tonics in the hot tub at sunset living the dream today literally feels like a summer's day i mean obviously it's cold and fresh i've got my jacket on but it just feels so amazing like this trip is bringing me so much joy we have really looked out with the weather and uh yeah that's just an absolutely beautiful walk i mean the cotswold scenery is not like dramatic i mean when you think about different areas of natural beauty in the uk like lake district peat district yorkshire dales yorkshire moors down in cornwall etc etc i feel like Cotswolds landscape is not dramatic it's not like big towering peaks or anything it's very much rolling British hills but very quintessential quaint villages I feel like what really makes the Cotswolds is the villages like the landscape isn't mind-blowing I mean I don't be offended if you live in the Cotswolds like I think it's beautiful but it's not like a really unique mind-blowing landscape but I think what makes the Cotswolds so special is the villages, the quaint houses, the fact that all the houses are the same colour with the same sort of bricks. Like, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, I'm rambling now about the Cotswolds, but I do think it's such a nice, accessible place to visit from London. Like, it's only an hour or two away on the train or by car. So it's a really, really nice place to get away for the weekend. So, yeah, let's get back and crack open the G&Ts. Home, sweet home, yes! We have got back in the nick of time, so I've just ran upstairs, got changed, I've got on, I can't really show you my bikini, but I've got on the Stay Wild Narita bikini, which I'll leave linked down below. I'm gonna throw on my dry robe and head down to the hot tub and enjoy. We've got some girls in Stay Wild Swim. Stay Wild Swim. Oh, that golden light. Golden light, let's get in the hot tub. Gin and tonic time. We have two gins to choose from. Sip Smith strawberry, Sip Smith lemon. I'm gonna go with strawberry because it's open. I'm just gonna eyeball. Bam, bam, bam. One for me, one for Tal, one for Naomi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'll do a little gin taste test. Oh my God, cucumber tonic. Revolutionary. Actually delicious. Oh, that is really good. How good is the cucumber tonic? Surprisingly, I... Ooh. Very fresh. Very fresh, like, this is very drinkable. It's too drinkable. <laughs> it's, it's very cool. dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> For dinner tonight, we have some lasagna with a very crispy topping and some <laughs> greens and balsamic glaze. It looks yummy. Yum, yum, yum. yum. and yum. Time to tuck in. Go on, Tal, hit us. What's the plan for the eve? We're gonna play a bit of gin rummy. This is, it's the Zana Van Dyke, it's the Van Dyke family game. Mm -hmm. We've adopted it, we're obsessed. Yes. We're making Naomi and Rue get obsessed too. <laughs> this is the first real like tournament of the Of the trip, weekend. yeah. We have to play at least three times before we leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So are you ready for this, Naomi? I don't know. I think I it gets, <laughs> it gets, she's got a gin tea, so it gets so intense. It gets so like, intense. And Zana wouldn't tell you, but she's the one who gets the most intense about it. So. <laughs> I get so I, intense. If there was like a hidden camera, <laughs> you really should. Like, <laughs> what are you saying? It's freezing. It's freezing tonight. So cold. It's so, so cold. It makes you realise that, ah, oh, it's actually not summer. It's actually not summer. <sighs> so we're going to end the vlog. The rugby's still on. <laughs> Could hear it. No, but they definitely could. Oh, okay. Um, oh, no, so we're, we're okay. We're good. We're all friends, aren't we? 
So the rugby's still on, everybody's downstairs watching it, but we've managed I've managed to drag this man upstairs to say goodbye to you and say I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Did you have a good day? I had a great day. It's been such a nice, good weathered day. Very wholesome. And just heartwarming and lovely and yeah. yeah got me really excited for like the rest of the year. Mm. And everything that's to come. Like spring and summer and barbecues and mm, mm, mm. hot tubs. Hot tubs. So it's gonna be all good fun. But yeah, I will leave a link down below to the property that we're staying in right now. Genuinely, such an amazing, amazing place. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really, really nice. And it's also nice because Anna and I have been to the Cotswolds a few times and this house is in the north of the Cotswolds. And like everywhere else we've stayed has been in the south. So I feel mm. like we're seeing different parts of the Cotswolds, which is nice. We're experiencing different parts. What did you say? You got very tingly lips. I think a combination of the sunshine. They're very red. Are they? Yeah, I think you've burnt them today in the sun. They're very red. I'm, I'm going to get you some lip balm. balm. I've got lip balm awesome. right here. I'll let you do that in a minute. Lisa. We need to end the vlog. Okay. <laughs> if you did like the video, please hit thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. All right, guys, have a good day. And we'll see you soon. See ya. Bye.